Welcome to A Course in Business Miracles. This is Heather Dominic, creator of businessmiracles.com and founder and leader of the highly sensitive entrepreneur movement. Join me today for some genuine practical assistance and a business altering and life changing experience. A Business Miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles, episode number 55, HSE Feature with Jackie Wynn. Welcome to this Business Miracles HSE Feature episode. I am just really, really so thrilled to be featuring Jackie Wynn as a member of the Business Miracles community and as a highly sensitive entrepreneur. Jackie, aside from being a valued member of the Business Miracles community, is a realtor at McNerney Associates in Virginia, where she uses her HSE strengths to make each and every client feel heard and well-represented. She has consciously created a business model that focuses on serving versus selling and one that allows her enthusiasm, unflagging energy, and positive outlook to support her clients through the entire real estate process. In her 14 years as a real estate agent, she is focused on clients who want to have both a high tech and high touch experience. She works with home buyers and sellers who often struggle with how to best interpret and use the online data at their fingertips to make smart real estate decisions. And clients who also desire a personal connection and high level of customized support in order to help them navigate their purchase or sale smoothly and successfully. As a certified relocation specialist, she has been entrusted to deliver top-notch service to corporate clients such as AOL, Rolls-Royce, VW, the State Department, and many others. She was recently chosen by McInerney Associates to be part of their flagship land, farm, and estate division in Virginia. She has also contributed real estate articles on behalf of the Dulles Area Association of Realtors and participated in county real estate think tank groups and graduated from Leadership Loudoun's 2009 Class of Community Leaders. Yet, you will want to listen in as I talk with Jackie to hear that even through all of these accolades, Jackie felt like she was constantly working against her highly sensitive traits in order to try to fit in while secretly her soul was dying, to now using her highly sensitive traits as a way to be more connected to her true self and therefore able to more easily deliver a genuine deep level of service and support to her clients, which has created more financial success than she has ever experienced before. It is such an honor to be a part of her HSE journey, and I'm just so pleased to be sharing this episode with you today. Welcome, Jackie. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Hi, Heather. I'm really excited to have the opportunity to be here as well. Awesome. Yay, yay, yay. So you and I haven't actually known each other that long, but at the same time, it kind of feels like we have because there's so much that has happened and transpired for you since our you know, first mentoring connection and, and you're entering into the Business Miracles community. So I'd love to just hear a little bit more from your side. You know, do you remember like when you and I first connected and and what it was like discovering that you were a highly sensitive entrepreneur? What was what was that like for you? I do remember that very clearly because I think it's one of those moments that was a turning point for me in life. So I think it will always be stuck in my mind in a positive way. I had chanced upon on Facebook some sort of week-long women's focused webinar series and happened to be guided to click on it and had skipped quite a few of the videos that were put out each day but did listen to yours. And probably within two or three minutes of everything getting started and listening, I 
was stunned. <laughs> I had never had a highly sensitive person or a highly sensitive entrepreneur terminology come across my mind at all. I hadn't had any exposure to that. And as you kept speaking, I just kept ticking off the boxes in my head and going, oh my heavens, it's like she knows me. Um, and we had never met, obviously. I you know, had had come off a, a difficult two years in my business and had stumbled upon your information as a personal growth thing. But what I remember really catching my interest was the fact that I had never heard anybody connect business growth with personal growth before. And that was, you know, kind of like an Oprah aha moment for me. Aha. <laughs> And I had done, you know, some coaching programs in my industry that just I didn't like. They weren't successful for me. I, I couldn't get results. I resisted the, the methodology behind them. And your idea of connecting the two together and how they interact and interplay really resonated with me from the get-go. Mm, that is so awesome. I love hearing this story so much for so many reasons, but the first one that comes to mind is I'm hearing you describe, you know, what I teach when I talk about how each of us as highly sensitive entrepreneurs has our sacred contracts, right? Like those people that we are literally like destined to serve, we're destined to be connected to. So when I hear you speaking about like you had all these videos to watch, you didn't watch all of them, but you for some reason, right, like watched <laughs> uh, the video that was featuring my interview, you could tell within just moments of what I was speaking about and you felt the connection and what I was saying was really resonating with you. And again, all of that just really highlights that, you know, as HSEs, when we get really clear about who we're here to serve and how we're here to serve them, then the path just opens up for that sacred contract connection to be made. So I just love, love hearing that. And also, I really appreciate your realization of once you, you know, really connected in with what it means to be a highly sensitive entrepreneur and the Business Miracles teachings, you were able to recognize what didn't necessarily work so well for you in other coaching and mentoring programs and that it wasn't necessarily anything that was wrong with you, but it was really more just about the, the approach and the way and then finding that match. So I love hearing that. And I also really truly remember our first connection and I was privileged to be able to talk to you myself when you first entered into the community. So it's just really, again, exciting, you know, about where you've grown since then. And just so that listeners have a context, you know, which Business Miracles mentoring program are you in and, you know, how did you start your Business Miracles journey and what has that time frame been? I first connected with you in January of 2018, so it's been about 14 months now. And after our first call, I took a leap, which felt like a leap for me, into the six-month program to start off with. It was incredibly scary to make that commitment at that point in time but it just really felt right and I couldn't imagine not doing it. And what I clearly remember from our first connections was that you, you know, encouraged me not to get stuck on trying to figure out the how first, that making the commitment is the first step and taking that, that one baby step and then from there the how will kind of show itself. And that has been a key thing that has guided me in this past year continuously is not to get hung up because that's my personality on, okay, I need to know A, B, C, D, and E, and then I'll do A. <laughs> um, and so just clearing that mental energy and just stepping into the program and just having faith and trust that 
the how will come about, you know, everything will sort itself out that I just need to show up and be open and have that willingness. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm so glad that you spoke to that because that's really common for those of us who are highly sensitive and it is absolutely one of the the major factors that will keep an HSE from really being able to grow their business, you know, to the the degree which it's meant to grow to. And when I say this, what I'm referring to is you identifying that what your preference is, or more we would say, you know, from the HSE coping mechanism and from the HSE shadows is to have it all figured out before we take action, right? And a lot of the reason that we tend to want to do that as HSEs is so that we can totally protect ourselves from not even getting overwhelmed, but we can protect ourselves from just even the possibility of getting overwhelmed Mm -hmm. or making a mistake in any way that will shine the light on us for being wrong or being different. So, of course, that really, again, doesn't work. And I really recognize and so glad that you spoke to what it takes to move beyond that shadow of overprotection to move beyond that coping mechanism of hiding and really take a step forward, which you did. And once you did, you have like, click, 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 you've like, you know, really (laughs) made some beautiful progress and you shifted from the six-month program to the core program and now to the elite mentoring program, which is really beautiful and awesome and exciting to see that progress, but you've also really progressed in a very accelerated way and in other degrees. So what difference has taking that that leap of faith, that step of faith that you described so beautifully, like what difference has that that made for you and your business? Bring us into that a little bit. Once I stepped into the program and started kind of working through the trainings and your teachings, Within probably a month, my whole business mindset sort of started to shift and open up and I started to see an income flow that I didn't have before and things, transactions were happening in a smoother way, problems seemed to be getting worked out almost outside of myself a lot of times. The the shifts in me mentally came from almost like when I think of your teachings, I think of it almost as a little bit of like feng shui for the mind. (laughs) Like I felt like my mental energy was being reorganized in a way that could serve not only me better, but in turn, you know, my, my clients were able to get better service and it just really shifted a lot of internal limiting beliefs that I had about what it meant to be in real estate and be a realtor, kind of referencing back to the more traditional real estate type coaches. As you said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but the business is very numbers oriented. It's very push, 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 hard sell, overcoming objections and That was never the way I approached it in 14 years of business. So it wasn't who I was. It wasn't who I wanted to be. It wasn't how I naturally worked with my clients. And to start to come to a place where my mind was opened up to it doesn't have to be that way, despite, you know, 12 or 13 other years of hearing that's just the way that it is and what you have to do to succeed, to have, you know, something behind that to say, actually, no, it doesn't doesn't have to be that way at all. That's right. Um, That's right. It was a huge shift for me. Yeah, absolutely. And that really is, you know, the key that's at the the heart of so many of my teachings in the Business Miracles curriculum and, and for us HSEs is that we really are meant to be in business differently. And it's a must. It's really just otherwise it's it's kind of just that, you know, you know, square peg in a round hole kind of experience. And that first step, like you said, is is the opening, like being willing to open to what that possibility is. And a lot of the tools are designed to support with that opening. 
and, you know, they actually have to be used and implemented. So I give you so much credit for doing exactly that. So what's a tangible example of what happened? Let's talk income because we are HSEs, which means that we are entrepreneurs, which means that we're in business, which means that we are here to generate through our service. So what happened as a result of your willingness? Well, I can share with you, I mean, I doubled my income last year and and I had a very respectable income to begin with, but I have doubled that, you know, nicely into the six figures. This year in 2019, as we're kind of wrapping up the first quarter, I have generated more income or the same income as I would have in an entire year before. And we're just ending the first quarter. So the numbers that I have seen still baffle me, to be honest. I, you know, set quarterly goals last year that I felt were a huge stretch coming off of the last two years that I'd had prior to that. Um, and now this year in January, when I set my quarterly goals, they were higher than last year. And I went, oh, that's never going to happen. And it happened so far. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so beautiful. So beautiful. So happy and so excited for you. And how does it feel in addition to being a bit baffling, which makes sense because that is also part of the process and that will also begin to smooth itself out, you know, the more that we continue our journey together. But in addition to baffling, can you tap into a sense of, you know, how does it feel to to be this creator, which is really one of your HSE strengths, all of our HSE strengths, which is creativity. How does it feel? Well, it feels a lot of different ways. I mean, it's empowering for one, you know, having shifted out of sort of the, you know, victim life happens to me mindset into seeing that I actually can create and and there's no limit to what I can create. And it's also been very peaceful in the terms of it's happened much easier than I expected and that I always had the assumption that to have this type of income, I would be working 24-7. And that hasn't been the case, the fact that I was able to double my income and actually looking back, having more time off last year than I've ever really had is an amazing feeling. It's, you know, it's a sense of peace. It's a sense of sort of being able to relax into my business a little bit because I'm not wasting that mental energy on, you know, all these preconceived limitations. (laughs) That's right. That's right. I love that you use the word peace. Because that is so often, you know, how I describe what is available for us HSEs. You know, when we really do step into the the way of business miracles and, again, that willingness to do it differently. And that piece is so important, but it's so discounted by so many. And really that just comes from a limiting belief that it's possible So I so appreciate that you spoke to that because, yes, the prosperity is very, very important as an HSE, but peace is such, such a high value for those of us who are highly sensitive and especially because most of us have spent most of our lives feeling the exact opposite of peace, you know, but instead more of just like a, you know, tangled up ball of, you know, highly sensitive nerves on fire, So, you know, again, just so thrilled that that's your experience, but also so, so appreciate that you that you use that word and spoke to that. Now, I know you and I have talked about two particular business miracles, teachings and tools that have really made a difference for you. The order form to the universe, as well as the 30 day plan. And the the order form, or we call it the OFTU in the community, is one of the energy management tools that I teach. And the 30-day plan is really more of a friends with time, an outer practical tool that I teach. I'd love for you to speak just a little bit to, you know, how working with those two tools has made a difference for you. and, And particularly, you know, I loved what you were sharing with me earlier when we were talking about, service to your clients. 
Could you speak to that a little Mm -hmm. bit? I would love to. The OSTU is, you know, one of your energy management tools that it's introduced pretty early on, if I remember, if not right away, in the six month program. And it, <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, so I do remember that correctly. <laughs> right away. And you're exactly since, right. Yeah, ever since week one it has been something that I turn to consistently. It helps sort out what you want, what you don't want, how you, you know, want to feel, how you don't want to feel, and, and kind of moving through the exercise the way that you have it laid out allows me to sort of get clarity and feel a little more grounded when I'm dealing with difficult conversations or even just client interactions. In my business, I do a lot of negotiations, which can or can't be, you know, emotionally loaded for a lot of people in terms of their move and the connection that they have with their home. And going through that OFTU process from start to finish kind of gives me a brain dump for all of the chaotic thoughts and worries that are in my head in the beginning. And then when I end up at the end of it, I feel focused, I feel clear, and that really truly allows me to show up in full service to my clients because none of my stories are getting overlaid on the situation. Um, I can listen more deeply, hear them and understand and and really get to a resolution or solution that works for everybody so much easier that way and with a lot less stress on my own self as well. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. It's exactly why I originally created the tool for myself. Um, it's as if you were, you know, speaking about my initial experience and, again, why I created that tool. So love hearing that that's how it's working for you. And how about partnered with the 30-day plan or the 30-day plan, you know, on its own? The 30-day plan is something that I still can resist month to month, but, you know, only because it's a to-do to fit in. But I have noticed such a big difference in staying with it and continuing to get it done every month. My business kind of, you know, ebbs and flows with the seasons, you know, as a realtor. And it's very easy and has always been very easy for me to slide into just going transaction to transaction and my head is down and I'm in the grind. And I hadn't really taken the time to think big picture and going back to that idea of of creating my business. And the 30-day plan tool really helps me at the start of each month evaluate what worked the last month, what didn't work, what really are my focuses. And when I find that I'm getting into overwhelm. I can, you know, pull it out. I always have a printed out copy on my desk and like go back to, okay, what is my primary focus this month? What is what, you know, what do I need to just set aside to stay on track? And nine times out of 10, anything I set aside either takes care of itself somehow magically, (laughs) miraculously, or ends up not being an issue or something I can easily just push to the next month and take care of then. So I, don't allow myself to get distracted because I have this structure in place that I can turn to every month. Beautiful. Absolutely. And again, that's the the real purpose of the tool and so glad to hear, you know, that's how it is really serving and supporting you, but to really create that container and most importantly for us as HSEs to really be able to move through or dissipate that distraction. And it is so funny that you said, you know, really it's like a resistance, but then you follow through and and you you do create it and complete it in each 30 days because I don't think I've met one HSE who hasn't resisted the 30-day plan. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) and, And, yeah, it's what really helps us focus that HSE strength of visionary just down into what absolutely needs to be done this week, this day, this month. So, so, so beautiful. And, you know, that really speaks to one of the key elements that I talk about as HSEs that are so important to us, and that's the element of consistency. 
And that's what I really hear you speaking to. The tool is supporting you and staying consistent because that's definitely a shared area where we tend to struggle as HSEs for sure. And then one of the other elements that I speak about that's so important for us HSEs is community and being in an aligned community. So I'd love for you to share and, you know, just let us in a little bit to what what has your experience been like, you know, as an HSE in, in the Business Miracles community? It's been wonderful. I, I stepped into the community not really knowing what to expect. I mean, I knew that I had experienced a real connection with you when we spoke originally and that your ideas and your teachings and philosophies really connected with me, but I had no idea what to expect in terms of community. And I had heard you talking about it and, that, and the importance of it. And I said, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But like, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna, how much am I going to have to do? You know, what are these people going to be like? All of the typical HSE chatter in my head. And it's been truly amazing. The experience that I had listening to that video when, you know, you first popped onto my radar back, you know, at the beginning of the program is the same essentially that I've had in the community. I mean, it's just like they know who I am. It's like, you know me, but you live across the country or across the world. And, you know, now I've met, I think, most everybody. But at the time, you know, never having met anybody, there's so much acceptance from just knowing that we all have so much in common. And yet... Nobody goes down the rabbit hole with you if you need support. It's not about coddling you or wallowing in in self-pity with you. I mean, it's like, okay, yep, totally get that. What's the next step? Where are we going to go from here? So there's a lot of support in acknowledging what you're feeling and what you're going through, but then also let's get to the solution side of it and let's think about what we can do to keep moving forward so that nobody gets stuck. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I so love that you highlighted that because that is just such an imperative element for us HSEs is not going down that rabbit hole, not joining in in the pity party, which is, you know, unfortunately so often what you find in other, you know, communities or gatherings of highly sensitive. But if you're a highly sensitive who absolutely desires to be self-employed, to be that entrepreneur, you know, the E part of HSE. It's so important to be able to be supported with that focus on solution and and empowerment, you know, which you mentioned earlier as well, and moving forward. So absolutely, just so, so well said. And so what would you have to say maybe to an HSE who's listening in, you know, another HSE, you know, maybe real estate agent or an HSE, you know, with any type of business or desire for a business who's listening to you and going, uh, I don't know, that sounds really great for Jackie, but I'm not sure it's so possible for me. What would you have to say to them? Well, I would say if they're listening to this, first off, then there's a reason and they should probably just pause and take note of that that guidance that got them to this point if they found you. Because as you said, I, I feel like we really do connect with people and experiences for a reason. I always felt that I was successful despite who I was. Mm. And... I think having found this community and found you, I have been able to realize that I have actually been successful because of who I am. I just was telling myself a different story. And particularly in my line of work where there's, it's dominated by, as, as you call them, the 80 percenters, I felt that I was always trying to find a workaround and that I was successful because I found those workarounds and I fit in and I did what everybody else did. And it was, you know, kind of killing my soul in a lot of ways. And so I think no matter what industry you're in, Sometimes, you know, self-help and spirituality and being connected with your true self gets connected with certain 
careers or teachers or healers, but I think there's so many of us in other industries that could benefit from just really connecting in with all that we have to offer that is very different because there are people out there who want that. And I feel like tapping into that, like I have said before and referenced before, really does allow me to give such a deep level of service and support to my clients that I didn't really offer before or I didn't even recognize that I offered before. Yes, yes. So beautifully said. It literally brought tears to my eyes just hearing you speak about successful in spite of and then being able to really experience the shift and, you know, that claiming and ownership as well as everything that you've learned about how to be successful because of who you are as a person who is highly sensitive. And, you know, I so appreciate every single HSE that I have the opportunity to mentor. And it's always so, so exciting to me when there's an HSE who is in a quote-unquote more traditional business, such as real estate, and to watch and witness someone like yourself really stepping into claiming you know, again, who you are and being of even greater service because of your willingness to claim who you are and to utilize who you are from a strengths perspective. And I just think about, oh, my gosh, like, yes, like the process of buying or selling a house and to be able to have an HSE in service in that experience is, that is literally world changing. That is absolutely changing the energy of the entire planet. So, yay you. And where can listeners find out more about you and the amazing HSC work that you are doing as a real estate agent? They can find out more about me on my website, which is virginiafineliving.com. That's Virginia all spelled out. And I'm also on Facebook at Virginia Fine Living Real Estate. So both of those places online give some more information about me. Wonderful. Yes. So again, Virginia Fine, as in you're fine. (laughs) VirginiaFineLiving.com. Jackie, thank you so much for being willing to open up the door and allowing us to peek in and, you know, hear and see and feel more about what you have been creating as a highly sensitive entrepreneur. I so appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate the opportunity and all of the support and the amazing work that you do. Mm, Thank you so much. Awesome. To be continued and until next time. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of A Course in Business Miracles. If you're ready to learn how to use your highly sensitive abilities to support you in being purposeful, profitable, and empowered rather than scattered, poor, and undervalued, take my free self quiz to find out if you are indeed a highly sensitive entrepreneur. And if you are, along with your quiz results, you'll receive my free HSE success guide, which will teach you how to have your highly sensitive abilities working for you to create the results you desire in your business. Take the quiz and receive your free success guide now at www.hsequiz.com.